I just asked a basic question like, what is the weather like in Mobile, Alabama? Well, it tells me I'm sorry, but I'm not able to browse the internet or access current weather information. Um, and so I found that uh, the more I, I searched, the more I searched, the more limited I realized chat GPT is. So here's another example. I just asked, how is the American team doing in the FIFA World Cup? Again, it says, I'm sorry, I'm unable to access real-time data or access the internet. Then I did a bit more digging even into the things that it can do, such as maybe you can say something like create a to-do list app using React, Next, and a database. It doesn't really do what I asked it to do. It gives me the instructions on how to do it. I've seen code examples from other developers as well. They'll ask it to do something and they'll realize, wait, my code is out of date. It's not even using the most up-to-date code. I know it is a lot to ask of an AI bot to create your app for you, but that's how it's marketed as this cool thing that can even write code for you. Well, a lot of times the code is out of date. Now, why is this? I don't know this for sure, but I kind of think the team at OpenAI intentionally chose to limit their AI so it doesn't inspire slave all of mankind. So one of the things it says over and over again is it's not able to browse the internet or access real-time information. I'm assuming they made it this way just so it's extra safe. If a super AI could access the internet, it probably could figure out things like how to create a nuclear bomb, how to access our military codes, things like that. And so maybe their whole thought process is instead of letting it have access to the internet or something like that, only allow it to have the information we give it. And we'll make sure not to give it information like how to enslave all of mankind, how to hack into drones and start assassinating people with drones. It can kind of help ensure that it's a nice AI that serves mankind instead of creating a dystopian future. So I, I do understand it. I understand the logic behind it. And I am glad they care about not allowing AI to enslave all of mankind. But I will have to be honest, it does make it not as good of a product. It is not up to date. Sometimes the information isn't completely right. Everyone has been saying this might be the Google killer or the next Google. Well, really, I don't know that that's really the case because Google will give you up-to-date information, real-time information. OpenAI chat GPT will not do that. It will only give you information that it has already learned in the past. So the, that information could be very out of date. So that was one of the limitations I found. I found that uh, chat GPT can't do everything I want it to do. So I'm kind of actually happy about that. I'm a developer. I don't want my job to be taken over by ChatGPT. Based on these limitations, I don't quite think developer jobs are in danger just yet. We'll have to see what it's like in another few years. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.